My name is Levi Weaver. I am a singer-songwriter. Everybody that plays music, I think, has this ideal of what it means to be on tour. Uh, you know, you think about the tour buses and the nice hotels and the throngs of people, and you learn pretty quickly, I guess, in the music industry that it's a very fortunate few that really get to go on the, the tours like you see. Uh, and so I just decided to just do it anyway. I'm gonna just book house shows and travel around and, and play these things. More important to me was always the idea of just being in a different city every night and being able to perform and do what you love uh, and, and see new things at the same time. Like I've always loved to travel and because this is what I do and what I love to do, now there's a motivation to work hard at it so that I can continue to do it. Because I've been doing music full-time for about seven years now. In 11 months, I played 232 shows. And I miss things, I miss things like, you know, I get a picture on Halloween and like, oh, my son's dressed up as this adorable penguin. I'm in California right now, and it's soul-destroying to be away from your family for that long. And so I just decided I wasn't gonna do that anymore. Why don't we just do this? Let's just, let's don't let money make a decision for us. We don't need to rely on that. We don't need to live a normal life. So my wife, who was raised in a normal household, not a rodeo cowboy household, and she's the more sensible of the two of us, finally, after seven years, just went, okay. Really, for me now, the you know, primary motivation is do this as long as I can. Make it an experience for me and, and for my kids. My son's four now. For my wife, it's gonna be a fun adventure of learning how to live that life a little bit. The loop pedals are fun for me because when I first started doing it, there was a, a song that I that I wrote called Witch Drink, and it had, you know, the chord progression was this B minor thing. And the whole song is that, like, over and over. The, the verses are that, the chorus is that. It's one of the first real songs that I wrote. And then there's a lead part that goes over it that's... And it's not, it's, it's simple, like it's a really basic thing, but just to be able to play that lead line over it helped, like helped to break up the monotony. And so I learned how to loop, just loop the chords once so I could play the lead line over it. And from there, my imagination kind of took off. So I thought, I wonder if I could then record this and maybe re like sing some vocals over it while I'm doing that. And then maybe I could put some effects on the vocals so they sound like this ghost choir, that would be neat. And then. Well, what if I bought a pedal where I could record one thing and then stop that but start something else? Then I could have two different parts of the song or I could make it just the vocals playing at one point. And I always want the loops to serve the song almost like another instrument rather than the song serve the loops because it just loses some of its genuineness at that point. If I play a show for 10 people a night and those 10 people walk away and they're thinking about life and the, the things that I'm singing about or they had an experience, that's success for me. Yeah, it'd be really nice if I don't go broke. But if I do go broke, and every day between now and that day when I go broke, I did a genuine thing and I created art that I'm proud of, and I impacted somebody's life as a result, artistically, that was a success.